like with over the years, right? Wait, what? Is your pants on? Over yeah. the years, like moving around and everything, um, and like you said that you were dealing with anxiety um, for for a long time. Mm -hmm. What made you start doing music? Um, well, I was in a family full of musicians. Mm -hmm. My dad is a singer songwriter and later on in his music career, he was in like bands and stuff. Um, he was doing like tours all around the world and like I seen that process. So I was always like, yo, like I want to do exactly what he does. Okay. Um, cause so, I just- sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. But is your dad somebody like who 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 is your dad <laughs> his name his name's trevor howard okay um he he definitely got the most traction off of this band called ghost of memphis mm. um y'all can I know, look it I know up ghost of memphis. yeah yeah memphis. They're, they're they're super dope but um yeah so my my brother was also into music from a very young age mm -hmm. he was literally two years old and he picked up pots and pans in the kitchen and you know spatulas and shit and started drumming literally at, at two years old so he just had yeah. the natural music gene in him he started playing guitar and writing songs when he was like 10 years old mm -hmm. um and then my mom is a classical pianist Dope. and she's fucking crazy she always tried to teach me but i was stupid i should have accepted it but i was a kid and i was like i want to play guitar <laughs> like i didn't <laughs> you know i didn't want to play piano um so yeah i was always kind of not necessarily pressured like they didn't personally pressure me but just seeing all of them like they were all musical talented mm -hmm. i was like yo like i want to be like them but I would always try to sing in the car, or, like sing at home. Yeah. And like my brother would sometimes like laugh at me, like you can't sing and stuff. Like mm. as he's three years older than me, just big brother shit. Yeah. Um, so like I kinda I kinda just thought I was the run to the family. Like I tried to drum on my brother's kit, like I was trash. I tried to play his guitars, I was trash. So I kinda never really tried anything until I think I was about twelve years old. Mm -hmm. And finally, like I talked my mom into putting me into guitar lessons. Okay. So I got a guitar and started doing that and I think like probably two or three weeks in my guitar teacher walked out to my mom and was basically like, yo, like, I don't think this is for him. Like, he's not doing very well. He doesn't seem like he's enjoying it. He's clearly not practicing. Right. Like, I really, I was like kind of stressed. I didn't really like playing the guitar because I just thought I was bad. Yeah. Um, and then I think a couple months later, like after I stopped playing guitar, my brother got a bass guitar. Mm -hmm and one day like i just picked it up and like started playing it and like my brother looked at me he's like yo that was sick man <laughs> mm. i was like shit okay i'm gonna keep trying this so i started playing bass and then started taking lessons for that and the same teacher that taught me guitar i went to him because he was sick at both bass and guitar right. and he literally walked up to me and my mom was like yeah so like this is it like we found his instrument kind of thing mm. so i started playing bass for four or five years and i loved it but it still wasn't exactly like what i wanted to do like yeah. i like to be you know noticed more like i like to be like the spotlight you know i'm a narcissist like that and the bass guy is usually in the back right? oh absolutely <laughs> like like the drummer gets more more attention than the bass player you know true. like the bass player is just the last man you know yeah um and like me me and my brother we had like a bunch of bands growing up and stuff we mm -hmm. would play like small little shows and whatnot and like i just noticed like i never really got like appreciated so like i don't know i guess i stopped really caring too much about bass and then when i was 15 i believe that's when i heard mac miller Mm. and when i heard mac miller like before that i was already listening to like you know 50 cent 
and like Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, Eminem. Like I heard all these rappers, but they were all talking about like hood stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah. So like I loved it. I loved hip hop, but I didn't fully relate to it Mm because like I grew up, you know, in the suburbs and shit. I never had no bad experiences until later on, like when I moved to Toronto. So like I never fully related to hip hop so i never thought oh i can do this right. you know so when i heard mac miller and i seen that there was a white kid from the suburbs just talking about like best day ever and mm-hmm. frick park market and like all this yeah, just like yeah, yeah. weird shit you Classics. know i was like yo like hip hop like isn't just for hood people you yeah, know yeah so that's when i started writing actual like lyrics and stuff mm-hmm. And then I guess in the process of me getting into to hip hop, I started kind of getting back into my old music because I started using, you know, auto tune and getting more confident with my singing voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so once I once I was more confident with my singing voice, I started taking the auto tune off and then like playing guitar and just like using that and and now i have literally so many different styles because i just found the confidence of my voice within Mm -hmm. hip-hop like when i heard i think probably travis scott is when i started using autotune before that i was doing all old school like boom bap rap shit okay um like i was i was super inspired by like jay dilla and like fucking big l Mm. mob deep you know like that was my shit at the time yeah but then i then i heard travis scott and he kind of changed my my outlook on on new age rap because i was one of those guys that was just like fuck new age rap like i didn't really like it that much it was Um, like bars or nothing yeah i was like that for a while i was super close-minded but then when i heard travis scott I was like, yo, I'm going to try that. Like, let's just see what happens. And then I started using auto-tune, making, like, kind of more trap music. And then, yeah, now I'm here. Now I don't even know what to call my music. It's not trap music. It's not rock music. It's not fucking... I don't even know what it is. It's just that, it's that just Dutch something drip, new. Yeah, it's something completely new. How did you get the name Dutch Rev? Uh, so Dutch is because I'm Dutch. My family is from the Netherlands. Mm-hmm and the the revs part is short for revelations okay so like revelations i guess is like a time in your life where you realize something like Mm -hmm, mm mind-blowing so like i was kind of like thinking about words that i could use to like put after dutch because at first it was young dutch i was like this is this is whack (laughs) you know like i don't want to have a young or a little name you know yeah yeah so i was just like really thinking about it and then i came up with dutch revelations Mm -hmm. and then after a few months of typing that in every time that i say my name or saying dutch revelations i realized it's way too long Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. (laughs) so i just shortened it to dutch revs that's fucking amazing. Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how was the first, like, and I guess, because from what you described, you're not just making, like, one sort of, like, rap music or hip-hop no. music, but how was the first of that? Because, you know, you, you explained how you were playing songs with your brother in a band and stuff like that, but when you branched off on your own, how was that first song like? Um, I mean... Fuck, I feel like it was very recent when I started mixing different genres into my music. Mm-hmm. I kind of went through a phase for a couple years where I was copying a lot of artists mm-hmm. and not not intentionally, but I realized like I'm a very influenced artist. Like yeah. if I listen to an artist for a week straight, when I go back to write in a week, I'm going to write songs that sound similar mm-hmm. or like literally sometimes I've even caught myself like accidentally copying bars or copying flows mm-hmm. or whatever. Um, So after a while, I realized the only way that I could, you know, copy or, you know, take influence from an artist without getting shit on is if I take it from other genres and make it my own, you know, Mm. because if I'm making hip hop music and I'm influenced by hip hop music, it's going to sound like 
the hip hop music I'm listening to. Yeah. But if I if I'm listening to fucking you know pop punk music and then I put it into hip hop music, it's not gonna sound like that pop punk music. This is true. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, yeah that's that's how I kind of look at influence. Hey, how y'all doing? Don't forget to like and leave your comments below. And if you like videos like this, as well as others on our channel, please remember to subscribe to the channel as well as hit the notification bell so you'll know when we're dropping new videos daily.